I wanted to share with you some kind of rules uh, to select your sample to analyze. Um, there are no definitive rules you need to try, but, but, but there are some things that are working well and other that or more difficult for uh, analysis. So uh, here is a set uh, of, of rules that, 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 that we can have. So let's hide uh, the window so we, we see better. So the first thing is you need to have kind of short samples uh, so or selection within the sample. So two to four seconds. You can go up to 10, 12. But the longer you get, the worse the, uh, the, the transient will be. You remember that there are uh, 512 slices, whatever lens you use for the sample. So, uh, whenever you will go for a long sample, the transient will not be good. So you can try if you like it. That's fine. But 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 the good result will be the best result will be for transient will be between two and four uh, seconds. Uh, it has to be, if possible, monotone. So one single knot inside, uh, no knot change. If there are some knot change, that's still okay. It will track the changes, uh, and and uh, it, within the the Egan matrix, you have some ways to correct and and make it uh, monotone. So that's useful. Uh, Obviously, if you go to some chords, uh, there is no fundamental frequency there, so that will be difficult for the algorithm. Uh, then you will probably need to use what we call the row mode. That there, there is a specific uh, video about it, uh, but that's when when the, the algorithm cannot recognize any fundamental fre fre frequency. Um, if there is kind of tempo, if it's a voice singing at a specific tempo or, or some instrument playing with some changes, uh, good tempos are between 70 and 120. Same thing, uh, you can experiment, uh, uh, but remember that analyses are not very good for transients, so if you go to very high tempo, um, the, 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 then transient will be kind of lost. Uh, one thing which is very important is uh, the reverb or, or the, the effect, the room effect. So try to have a, a recording which is as dry as possible. Um, yeah, so no no effect, no compression, uh, no no delay, no, no nothing dry is is really best. And then you will apply effects afterward within the GAN matrix. But 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 it's always best to avoid artifacts to uh, to have a dry recording. Um, so every noise, uh, so he sings, uh, whistlings, uh, uh, that, that's difficult. That's a lot of, of frequency to, to replicate it. So um, that's usually not good and will end up with some uh, artifacts. So if you can avoid them, that that's always best. Uh, when you record an instrument or a voice, also, it's better, it's best to avoid uh, vibrato. Uh, it will work with vibrato, but we, when it's in, we can't, you can't take it out. So if, if there is no vibrato, it's easy to apply a vibrato while playing with your finger or with a shape generator or whatever. But if it's inside the analysis, then uh, it's, it's inside the analysis and you won't be able to, to really remove it. Um, if there is no fundamental frequency, as I said before, so it's if it's chords or if it's um, machine noise or, or a kind of sound effect or whatever, uh, prefer the raw mode. So that there is a specific mode for this kind of, 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 of uh, audio inputs. Uh, there is a dedicated video about it, but, but that, that will be the best way to go. Um, if there is only a voice, uh, be careful of having if possible, a nice uh, articulated and short consonant. So <laughs> my voice is probably not the best for uh, analysis, but but well toned voiced voice will, will always be be, be better, and, and the good articulation will also be be be, be better. Um, j j just to give uh, an, an an example about it, uh, here I have a voice uh, without reverb first, and with some reverb uh, after, so that. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Same voice but with some added uh, reverb. Uh, if I do an analysis of it, uh, it will work. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. 
So the analysis is okay. The problem is not at that level, but it's when you will have to reduce the number of, of partials. So when you go to channelization, so when you do channelize. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you can hear the first ha uh -huh is nice. There is no no real issue, but the second one has a lot of artifacts. So you may like them. So if you like them, that's fine. But if you want to avoid artifacts, uh, really avoid. Uh, room effects, uh, reverb, etc. Et really prefer a very uh, nice uh, dry voice uh, just to show it again. Do the uh, uh -huh. reverb, and when you go to channelize, uh -huh. you see this glug 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 that, <laughs> that are appearing, and this is going to be even worse when you go to the again matrix. Uh, so okay, can, we can show it here. Uh -huh. So you see a, a, a lot of, of uh, add, added uh, small weird noise uh, and artifacts from from uh, the, the, the analysis. So uh, that's it about recommendations uh, for selecting your audio inputs. Uh, of course, that's mainly a matter of experiment. It, it happens tons of time to me that I had an input I thought it will never work properly, and for some reason it does. So you never fully know before trying, but these kind of rules also kind of help you to guide how to, to get your, your um, input for analysis. So see you at next video.